what's happening, me head day? Today we're gonna work on an indirect hot water here. I'm gonna show you what indirect hot water here looks like inside. So I'm gonna show you what I'm working on. So it's a superstore tank. So they had a leaking coil. So today what I'm gonna talk about is what is a leaking coil. So I'm gonna demonstrate you guys. So we're gonna open this up. So right now we took up the insulation and then open up the tank. Once you open the tank, we're able to see what's going on inside. So today I'm gonna show you guys how an indirect hot water heater works. And also, I give you a visual of what an internal leak looks like. Because a lot of people don't even understand what I'm talking about. They say, oh, a leaky coil, what's a leaky coil? Well, let me show you. So stay tuned, guys, and I'm gonna show you today what an internal leak looks like on the indirect hot water heater. Weba! I want to show you guys what a leaking coil inside an indirect hot water heater looks like guys because many people don't understand it or they don't have a, a I don't want to say common sense I want to say that they don't have a, a, a visual of what it looks like so guys understand this is an indirect hot water heater and all it is this whole house in here basically storage tanks that hold water on the boiler side and then your coil is where your domestic water gets the heat transfer so I want to show you guys so this is your coil so inside this pipe is water but this is your domestic water in the south around the coil is the dirty boiler water <clears throat> that you have coming from your boiler so guys that is what happens that's when you have a leak internally remember you're not going to notice that how are you going to notice you're going to notice because your relief valve is leaking water you're going to notice that your pressure is going up so what happened to this particular client that i'm talking about specifically so we went there to replace an expansion tank because the expansion tank was bad i don't know what's a coincidence but this could have been a tribute to it, but most of the time it's usually the expansion tanks. When you replace the expansion tank and the relief valve, usually the issue with the relief valve goes away because the expansion tanks do go bad. However, in this particular case, had a bad expansion tank, had a bad relief valve, and we also thought that the, the, um, the pressure reducing valve was also bad as well. We changed all three and it was still leaking water from the, from the relief valve and then the actual pressure went all the way up. So guys, <clears throat> 
that right away triggered me to say, listen, you have a bad indirect hot water heater. And of course, you know, some customers are going to be bitching, complaining. Oh my God, it's so much money. Oh, what am I going to do? Are you sure you're sure? I am sure. Because in this particular uh, case, you can only get water two ways. You only get it through the pressure reducing valve or you have a leaking or an internal coil. So guys, so if you're doing any type of troubleshooting and you have a leaking relief valve, pay attention and make sure that it is an indirect hot water heater or if it's the actual uh, relief valve expansion tank. How are you gonna do that? Very simply, you're gonna shut off the water, go into the PRV valve or the pressure reducing valve, and there's only one way to go, water can go into the boiler, right? So if you shut it off, meaning you shut any water going to the boiler. So if there's any leaks, any leaks, that the, and the water pressure is gonna go up, you look at the tridicator, you know there's a, it's the internal coil inside the indirect hot water heater. But this is exactly what it looks like. I wanted to show you guys exactly what a leak, leak looks like because again, his pressure was going through the roof and usually, usually is the expansion tank relief valve or the pressure reducing valve. In this case, it was all three and the indirect hot water heater. So guys, this is what I tell you guys, make sure you inform the customer, make sure you explain to the customer correctly. And of course, not only just the technicians, I also want the customers to see, the homeowner, I want you to see this. So you have an understanding, you have a visual, what a leaking internal coil looks like and what it is and what it does. So basically, you're, you're bleeding internally. So in this case, it's bleeding internally, which is water. I want to show you guys here. So listen, this is the side of the domestic side, which is put a hole to, you guys can see. And this is the trapping going to the boiler side, right? So you can see the same thing over here. That's the dirty water from the boiler. It's coming from right here. And you have another one on the bottom of this coil. So guys, listen, it doesn't have to be that difficult to troubleshoot, but I do want to show you guys and give you a visual what an indirect hot water here looks like internally, as well, what does it look like when it's leaking water from the coil. So guys, just another day with Louis the Boilerman. If you have any, any questions, by all means, please, we'll love to hear from you guys. That's right, guys. Leave a comment below. Smash that bell button. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. With that being said, woo-wee! Bye-bye!